Hi, this is Dr. Adahar from Xsculpt. The doctors at Xsculpt wanted to make this video to help you get the maximum amount of results or the best results from using your semaglutide interzepatide. So uh, basically what semaglutide interzepatide uh, uh, are, are medications that slow down your gastric emptying. So what does that mean? It means that you're going to feel fuller, longer, on a smaller amount of food. So you lose weight by caloric restriction, just like a diet. Now, I always tell uh, patients two things. Number one, you have to remember to eat because especially people who are busy in the morning uh, or work out in the morning, you can go the entire day without feeling hungry, but then in the afternoon, you may feel dizzy or lightheaded. Uh, worst case scenario, faint. And the reason why is because you're hypoglycemic. Your body's not sending you signals to eat and you forget to eat. So you have to remember to eat. This is much more common in the, in the beginning when you first start the medication. Uh, and number two, when you s reach your desired weight loss goal, you can stop the medication. You just have to remember that once you stop, your stomach is gonna return back to its normal functioning. So you wanna, uh, you wanna make sure that you maintain the weight loss after the medication is stopped, just like any diet. Because if you don't, the, uh, the weight will come back. So it's good to use this time to learn about uh, nutrition and exercise and stuff like that while you're in your active weight loss phase. Now, uh, now, so we wanted to give you some pointers on how to change your diet and lifestyle so that you can uh, get the maximum benefit from the medications. And the first point is use the lowest dose that offers you weight loss. Uh, the reason why is because once you lose the desired amount of weight, you stop the medication, you're going to want to wean off the medication instead of stopping it cold turkey because if once you stop it cold turkey, your hunger is gonna come back with a vengeance and we want it to be more of a slower uh, progression towards that. And if you're at the lowest possible dose, this will be much easier, okay? Uh, the second one is that you wanna prevent muscle loss. Whenever you lose a pound of weight, up to 20% of that is muscle. If you've ever been on diet before, you know this because you're weaker uh, when you're at the gym, you don't have as much energy, and you, your body's uh, shape or your physique starts to change. Now you wanna minimize this, and how do you do that? Number one, you wanna eat, a high, you wanna eat high protein diets. And what that is, is usually 0 0.5 to one gram per pound per day. Uh, so, uh, for example, if you weigh 150 pounds, then you want to try to eat uh, at least 75 grams of protein a day to minimize the weight loss, ideally around 150 grams per day. The second one is, uh, is resistance training or weight lifting. You want to give your muscles a stimulus to continue to work and grow. Uh, so in, combined with, uh, in combination with a high protein diet, this will help minimize weight losses when you lift weights especially uh, you want to lift on the heavier side uh, so you uh, so you cause the metabolic stress on your muscles necessary to grow or at very least maintain okay uh, now next uh, you want to drink a lot of water and what is that is that's at, at least eight ounces eight times a day which is a daily recommendation because you can get constipated when you're on these medications and because you're you're dramatically decreasing your uh, food intake, constipation can be, uh, or can result from that. So you wanna make sure you keep yourself adequately hydrated so that uh, you don't get uh, problems with constipation. Uh, you wanna also, uh, on your diet, you also wanna eat high fiber foods. High fiber foods will help prolong the feelings of fullness. Uh, and obviously in the, you know, in the forms of vegetables and fruits or fiber supplements, and fiber also has a lot of benefits in of itself, like lowering your cholesterol, uh, preventing uh, colonic diseases, preventing colon cancer. And so ideally you wanna try to hit about 25 grams a day. Uh, so uh, that will help with uh, the feelings of fullness and to keep yourself um, clean and overall healthy. Uh, regarding fat intake, you wanna have a moderate uh, healthy fat intake in the forms of like, for example, like avocados, because uh, well, uh, because fats are involved in, in uh, synthesizing hormones in our body. So to maintain a healthy estrogen and testosterone level in your body, you want to make you want to uh, give your body the building blocks. It is uh, a building blocks to maintain 
uh, your your hormonal balance uh, because once your hormones get low then you also you're going to start feeling uh, you know very tired uh, your lack of energy uh, and um, all the things that go along with that so may, you want to maintain a healthy hormonal balance and um, also uh, healthy fats does uh, also increase the, t uh, the amount of you feeling full okay so your caloric intake will be less and the medication works better and then finally I always tell people that you have to minimize uh, the intake of liquids or, or soft foods that have a high caloric um, high caloric content with low nutritional value basically like ice creams or sodas or uh, fruit juices that are high in sugar these these foods will pass through your stomach very quickly and give your body a lot of calories but the value of the calories aren't that great they're not very nutritious and so that will slow down your weight loss so uh, as much as possible avoid those foods uh, so these are tips and tricks you can uh, you can use to help maximize your benefits from the stomach glutide and terzepatide so um, Thank you for working with us. We look uh, forward to seeing how much weight you can lose. If you have any questions, please reach out to your doctor. Have a great day.